welcome back so today I'm bringing you guys another video and I'm sure you guys can tell the change of scenery I am right now in my family room right in front of my Christmas tree this is not gonna be like a permanent background of course my Christmas tree is coming down pretty soon but I just really want to change my scenery I really want to change my background for a really long time but the way that my house is set up it's like impossible for me to film anywhere else so just because this Christmas tree is up I figure let's just do it right here the only problem with this is that I'm like basically out in the open so every time anybody says anything in my house you will probably hear it so enough about the background today's video is gonna be a tutorial on this look that I am wearing right here and I am so excited for it because it is my New Year's Eve look I guess it does have glitter of course because let's just be honest this glitter it's probably gonna keep going on until like February. I just, I love glitter. Who doesn't love glitter? I feel like on New Year's you really want to go heavy on the eyes and then just like keep the lips nude. I feel like that's kind of like the New Year's tradition. <laughs> so what I did is I made the eyes really intense blue glitter like to stand out and then I also did a really intense wing liner and I also brought it in on the inner corner and I just love the way that this looks so if you guys want to know how I got this look then please just keep on watching okay so of course for New Year's we need our makeup to last all night long so first I'm going in with the Nivea Men post shave balm insensitive just putting this all over the skin so that the foundation really has something to stick to then I'm going in with the Mac prep and prime skin refine zone which I used to use ages and ages and ages ago and I stopped and I don't know why I did because this is amazing it mattifies me it really like fills in my pores it's just everything I need in a primer so why I stopped using it I can't even tell you then I'm going in with the Mac Pro Longwear foundation mine's in the color NC 44 and like I said we want our makeup to last all day and I also have a hidden agenda I was going to work this day and I really needed you know to not look like a grease ball at the end of the day you know so just applying this all over the skin and blending it out with a damp beauty blender my favorite tool you guys already know I rave about it in pretty much every single video then I'm just filling in my eyebrows super super quickly I will of course link my how I do my brows video down below I just did an updated one so that's gonna be in the description box so I just like really sped through this because like honestly it takes me ages and ages to do it and then on top of that it's just like really not interesting so Check the description box for an updated how I do my brows and now I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC 24 hour extended eye base. Just applying this all over my lid with a fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics just so it's saturated. And then for this look we're using pretty much all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. The first shade I'm grabbing is Peach Smoothie which doesn't look like much on me but it just really helps everything else blend nicely. So the brush I'm using is the Morphe E23 which is one of my favorite crease brushes in the history of mankind I just really love it and then I'm going in with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek I really wanted Coco Bear to be like the main color in my crease so I didn't want to go in with anything else too crazy so I just grabbed this with the Coastal Scents blending brush you guys see me use all the time it is five dollars and nothing beats it I'm just really focusing this right into that crease and then grabbing the E23 brush by Morphe and just blending out those edges a little bit more then to highlight my brow bone brow bone not brow brone I'm grabbing this color lyric from the Kat Von D shade and light palette it's just that center banana shade and I'm grabbing it on a Mac 242 brush and just highlighting that brow bone I really like to to use something that's matte I know a lot of people like shimmery stuff on their brow bones if that's what you like do it up but on me it doesn't look that cute so now with center stage which is a foiled eyeshadow by makeup geek as well I'm putting this on my inner two-thirds I'm not really going to the end of my lid because you guys already know we're gonna deepen it up like I always do but this is just gonna be like a base because we are going in with a blue glitter right on top but just so that there's something right underneath this is what we're doing then with Corrupt, also by Makeup Geek, is just a matte black shadow. Any matte black shadow you have will be just fine. I'm grabbing it on a Outer V brush by Makeup Geek and just putting it right on the Outer V, just as you would imagine. The reason we left it blank is so that we can put this black on there. And I'm also working it a little bit into the crease, just a little bit, not too high. You don't want this to look muddy. And then with Cocoa Bear, again, on the same Coastal Sense brush that we used it with before. I'm just gonna blend out those edges and it's gonna look crazy, but don't worry, just keep blending. Blend for hours, blend for weeks, blend for like three months if you have to, blend for as long as you need. Then I'm going in with some glitter glue and this one is actually by Lime Crime. I actually do prefer the Lime Crime glitter glue over the Too Faced glitter glue. I know it's like the craziest thing, but it's just, 
it's the one that works for me the best so now i'm going in with occ glitter in the color wait for this crazy name wait for it blue i know you would have never guessed that i'm just applying this right over the glitter glue and i know there's a lot of fallout but since we didn't do our concealer yet like it's okay like fall wherever you want to it's cool then i'm going in with my eyeliner there's two eyeliners pictured here the one on the bottom is the nyx matte liquid liner which is the one that i'm using right now the one on top is the stila stay all day waterproof liner which i will tell you when we're gonna use it not yet though so just doing my liner my how i do my wing liner video will be linked down below now with nars radiant creamy concealer in the color biscuit which i think we can all agree is much more my shade than custard or any other color that i've used in the past i'm just gonna put this everywhere that i always highlight and conceal you know underneath my eyes forehead down the bridge of the nose cupid's bow chin pretty much everywhere on my face <laughs> and then just blend it out with a damp beauty blender of course now to set all that i am going to bake with the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder why does mine look like it's been through hell <laughs> i'm just grabbing this on a real techniques blending sponge just everywhere you guys always see me set my face everywhere that i put concealer basically because i'm an oily mess and if i don't do this my makeup is going to look crazy in about 20 minutes now with the mac extended play lash mascara which i literally call everything else but that i think i've called it an extra dimension i've called it like so many different things but it's really called extended play lash mascara just putting that on my top lashes prepping them for falsies and the ones i used today were the coco lashes in soho because they're pretty dramatic but they also like allow you to see the eye makeup underneath them if that makes any type of sense then just wiping away the bakage the baking powder whatever you like to refer to it as <laughs> i'm using this bh cosmetics brush just to get all that powder off my face now with the love of my life the mark jacobs highlighter and blacker i'm telling you guys there is no better eyeliner on the market i know this one is pricey but i'm just so head over heels in love with it i'm sure you guys already know because i literally use it in every single video so i'm just going really hard on my waterline like always because we want this to be a smoky look just like every single other tutorial i've ever done in the history of mankind then with corrupt eyeshadow again by makeup geek i'm taking a sigma e15 which is just like a flat definer brush and just kind of smudging out that liner you kind of have to work fast with this liner because once it sets it sets it will not go anywhere so you know usually it's probably better to do one eye at a time but i never really do that i probably should damn Anyways, <laughs> now with Coco Bear again by Makeup Geek, I'm taking a pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30 pencil brush. I already told you guys this is like the best pencil brush on the market. This one and the E36 by Morphe. They're hands down the best. I'm just going to smudge out that black a little bit more so it's a little bit more smoky on my lower lash line. Then I'm going in with Magic Act Foil Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. And I wanted something gold. I know like we have blue on our eyes so it's like why are you going with something gold? But I just feel like the contrast is really pretty. And now grab your Stila Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm using this on my inner corner just to really extend that liner, bringing it down and then bringing it into my lower lash line. I'm using this because I feel like it's a lot easier than using the NYX one. And on top of that, this is waterproof and my eyes are Niagara Falls, so it only makes sense. I went really, really hard on my inner corner. You guys don't have to go as far out as I did, but I figure we're doing drama, so let's just do drama. So these are the finished eyes and now we're going to finish contouring the face. I'm going in with shadow play from the Kat Von D shade and light palette the brush that I'm using is the makeup geek round blush brush which I have been literally obsessed with for contouring I just feel like it gives me the best contour it's just look it's perfect it's perfect it's as dramatic as I want it to be but at the same time it blends it out which I love so just contouring my cheekbones nothing crazy then with the Too Faced dark chocolate soleil bronzer which you guys know is also like the love of my life i am just bronzing all over the face i'm using the mac 135 brush which i've been liking a lot i was using a really dense brush before and i find that this one gives me more of like an airbrush look so i recommend this brush for anybody who is wondering now with this blush by urban decay this is the color video this blush goes with absolutely everything so i felt like it would work really well with this look so i'm just popping this on my cheeks the brush that i'm using is the yakio brush from nars which is just incredible for a blush it's incredible i have nothing bad to say about this brush at all it does not shed like the Eda. i'm just saying now i'm going in with subconscious from the cap on shade and light palette it's the darkest color in the palette and i just wanted to darken up that contour because we are all about drama i mean okay let's be real i'm all about drama every single day of the week but this is new year's so i'm going really hard now i'm going to contour my nose and i'm using the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer not the dark chocolate soleil bronzer the regular chocolate soleil bronzer because that one has a lot of gray undertones to it and i find that it's perfect just to chisel out my nose so with this bh cosmetics brush i'm just going in and now with the real star of the show honestly in my opinion 
nothing beats this this is electric slide by ColourPop. do me a favor and get your hands on this if you don't have it it is the best highlight ever it's super super intense i'm using the real techniques contour brush by the way to apply it that's what i always use for color pop highlighters but it is just so intense and in your face it's that gold like whisper of guilt type color but it's just so much more like intense in your face you can see me from like mars or something i almost said nars it's like really embarrassing but i just i love it so much you guys have to pick this up and for eight bucks like you cannot go wrong so now for the lips i'm grabbing spice lip pencil by mac just because it's like a really warm terracotta color i guess we can say and i'm just lining my lips with these and filling them in just a little bit and then i'm grabbing the liquid lipstick by stila in the color caramello this is from the eternally yours liquid lipstick set but i believe they just made this in like a full size and they made it permanent so i'm just saying it's really pretty and then for gloss i went in with nude carrot by ysl and then this is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to have a really safe and fun New Year's Eve. And I will see you guys in 2016. Bye!